Am I in here to call? Oh, jeez. Please. Oh, oh. This, this. Oh, dear. Oh, what am I going to say? Uh. Hey, hey, Matt. 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 Oh. Hey. Matt. Kenny. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I was wondering if you can come on by and... R room service? I mean, no, I was wondering if you can come on by and give me some TP. I, uh, I ran out. I can get you some toilet paper. But yeah, I mean, yeah. if you want me, do room service too. <laughs> okay? See you soon. Okay, see you then. Room, sir okay. room service! Yes. <laughs> well, we said, what the hell, you guys are doing this new show and yeah. you're not having me on it? What well, gives? I was so mad. And they wouldn't put me on for weeks. But it's okay. I think it was a matter of, like, it's going to happen. It's just... No, yeah, we, that was a given one. Yeah. We, we, did, we wanted it to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And obviously we get Michael Nakazawa here. Yeah, Michael. So now it's really Nakazawa. perfect. <laughs> yeah. the truth is, we haven't done one because our hotel rooms have been pretty small. And today we we're, we're in a big one. So Whenever they put me in a suite, I go, oh, man, we can do a room service today. Yep. It was great. And here we are. Here we are. In a suite. That Back is, at it. That is too sweet. No, that was 2015, Matt. <laughs> Someone asked me, so are you guys ever going to do the too sweet again? I replied, no, never again. I feel like it peaked about 2016. One of those years. It was the height of the, the too sweet. It was the height of my career. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're looking up right now? Is it... <laughs> I asked Siri what Kenny Omega owes his career to, and it said Bullet Club. <laughs> <laughs> I think that Bullet Club was probably like, the reason why we all blew up the way we did. No, but for me, honestly, I got a big like original boom yeah. from from the Bullet Club thing. Mm -hmm. I remember on my first Tokyo Home appearance versus Taguchi. Yeah, we were at ringside with you. Yeah, my followers went from ten thousand people to thirty thousand. Are you talking, the match. you talking about Twitter? Oh, wow, really? Twitter, Twitter. You, do yeah. you remember you didn't even have why you got a Twitter account? Because you told me to. <laughs> Same with Pro Tees. Yeah. Hey, that. should I get a Twitter? Should I do social media? Yes, you should. Should I do this thing called Pro Wrestling Tees? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I don't think I'd sell anything, Matt. I think you'd sell something, right. Kenny. I don't think I would. Maybe like a couple. And I remember I had said that I just want to be mysterious, and I do. Yeah, and I understood the mystery. I do, bit. yeah. But we were like, you at least got to get a Pro Wrestling Tees page because that's the thing. That, no. like, you have to make extra money. Like, get on this yeah. thing. Because we're at the time, we're not making much money in Japan. People Nothing. don't realize that. Nothing. That's it's, what was making us money was the shirts. Right. Well, was, uh, again, I'm not afraid to say it. It was the lowest paid guy in the roster for like a year and a half. Yeah, that's right. You remember <laughs> at, right after your, I think it was your match with Okada, yeah. you're all, the real payday wasn't that match. It was that month's uh, Pro Wrestling, wrestling Tees. Oh. And then you showed us your month, and we couldn't believe it. We were yeah. blown away. We're, oh my wow. God. I feel like you're in Japan, you're doing your first tour. We're in Japan doing our first tour. We see you in the magazines. You see us wrestling on TV on Dra for Dragon Ball. Yeah. I remember exactly where I was too when I first saw you guys. It was, uh, really? yeah. So wow. we're in kind of the outskirts of Tokyo in a very rundown apartment. Very, super rundown. Like my, it, it was like, you know, the stuff out of like old school cartoons where my, my mattress was just a box spring with wow. the hole in it with the spring. Oh, geez. Like, you wow. know what I mean? Legit, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. But my one friend was a super, or the roommate, he was a super wrestling fan. So he made sure he had a TV. He made okay. sure he had Samurai Television. Mm -hmm. And they're doing the recap of the Dragon Gate show where they had to use mats instead of the actual ring. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and after that, I remember seeing you guys, like I'd seen, knowing yeah. that... You guys were doing big stuff in, in like you know the California right. area. Right. I looked at your stuff and I thought, wow, these guys are you know pretty good, yeah. obviously. And then when I had seen your stuff in Dragon, I thought like, wow, like they're way better than what I even seen like on the the right. online compilation videos. And then when I finally met you guys, um, it was just like you probably don't even remember when you finally met us. I wasn't there. You weren't there because you were at a wedding. Yeah, Your own wedding. My own wedding. Your own wedding. Yeah, I remember meeting Nick and, Nick and he left my wedding. Nick early. had a three-way against yeah, Yoshino yeah. and Generico. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Nick. Nick goes to the show. He's like, well, first he's at my wedding. I think he does the best man speech, right? Yeah. And he he's basically comes up to me and Dana after he goes, "Hey guys, congratulations! I got to get out of here." No. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, and I was at like at the time we were like. 
you know what, you do whatever you got to do in the business. You got to, you know, this is our big break. If there's a show, you got to do the show. I don't care what day it is. So I understood. He texted me that night. I met Kenny Omega. This guy is so funny and so weird. You're going to love him. <laughs> You're the only person I really talked to. And not because I was trying to be standoffish. Because yeah. anytime I wasn't talking to you, I was playing my Game Boy Advance <laughs> in the hallway, just sitting down. I was, so, I was so addicted to this game called Advance Wars. That's and from nice. there... You started getting booked at ROH. Yep. Mm -hmm. so and PSG so, more so often we, than we all did. We, right. And um, before we get really close, it was the end of 2009. It was Final Battle in New York City. And it was the worst snowstorm. I think it was like in yeah. 50 years. Yeah, or that's something. right. And we Final told, battle, we, right? we told you, we were like, we have a TNA tryout match like tomorrow or the next yeah. day. It was two days later. And our flight got canceled. Mm -hmm. I remember Times Square was buried in snow. It was the first time I'd ever seen Times Square abandoned. Mm -hmm. Like you, we, you could walk in the middle Crazy. of the street. There was no one there. It looked like a horror movie. Like post-apocalypse. Fresh sheet. Yeah. <laughs> we knew we can get on the subway and get to the airport and try to figure things out. Mm -hmm. So basically we came to you and we said, dude, we said, you know, we got to go do this tryout now. And this is, I don't know what's next. And you said, you know what, guys? I have a feeling that you guys might be getting signed Good luck, and I'll see you down the road. And I have this weird romantic <laughs> image in my head of us hugging goodbye, snow hitting us in the face, yep. and saying, I'll see you down the road. And we didn't see you for like another and then, four like, years. And you walk away, the snow slowly covers your figure, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. you, wait, Matt, I got something I gotta say. And you're like, Matt, Matt, where is he? It's too slow. Yeah, exactly. Where are you? You know, it's crazy that it wasn't a long time that we had became friends. Very but we quickly. Were yeah. Very close. Yeah. Because you was about, only one of the only few guys we could probably about it. six months. Yeah. yeah, we had so much common ground of what we were trying to do in wrestling yeah. and sort of the circumstances that we were we were wrestling. Oh, yeah. was, very similar. We were very low slash underpaid guys oh, yeah. with yeah. a lot of ideas, trying to enhance everyone. Yeah, very selfless matches. Yeah. Right. So we go to TNA, we fail, we have a terrible run. <laughs> <laughs> it was okay. It was fine. Um, and we finally, from there, decide to hit our wage again, go back to the independence. Where do we, oh, okay, I, of course I know when we run into you again, Kenny, we're on the New Japan bus. Like, oh my God, it's Kenny, we're so excited. We reconnect with you and hang out. And you have this crazy ass match against Desperado at Corica. Oh, that one, us, yeah, yeah, And uh, you guys do like a crazy spot on the stage, remember this? You F up your ankle, it's purple, but you kept pushing through, pushing through. Yep. Nick messes up his ankle, keeps pushing through. I had a neck thing going on, I'm a neck guy, I've had a neck thing going on for 10 years. We all bonded so much because we all survived and we were like damn like and i remember that tour being so hard and i would i, I remember i told nick i said i'll never do one of those ever again <laughs> oh we had a singles match in uh the 2014 oh yeah. yeah nick has a new japan victory over you in a single yeah. match did i win you yeah you went you, over you won me he won me over <laughs> hey you beat me yeah so yeah. soon after that kenny texts us and he says new japan wants to bring me on full time basically yeah and uh they want to put me in the bullet club and you were pissed off Really? really? Yeah, he's like, I don't, I, this is weird. Wow. I, he's like, why, why should I be on your guys' team? We should be working against each other. He's like, uh, and the I ball club's already got you. AJ, and it's already got, you know. Yeah, and I also thought, too, that, like, just because I'm a foreigner doesn't mean I should just automatically go in. Yeah, you're like, what, all really, foreigners just go to the bowl club? Yeah. Like, give me a break. Yeah, I you were, see that. You were pissed off about it, but you're like, you know what, whatever, maybe this will be good for us because we can hang out, we can, you know. Do our thing. What do you, what do you think? Holy what you, shit. What are your thoughts? What? I was expecting that response. Yeah, what are your thoughts? I couldn't call. Just for a second, man. That's it. Send him on his way. <laughs> you, you and you guys. What's it? Always with the goddamn curtain call. Oh, come on. We had known for a while that AJ, Carl Anderson, oh, okay. Gallows were all leaving. Oh, yeah. We thought they were going to TNA Wrestling because that's what they were going to do. <laughs> TNA <right>? Wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> that Federation. Impact Wrestling. The, the TNA Federation. Yeah. <laughs> so I get off the bus. I go up to Carl. I go, hey. <laughs> so are you guys heading to, to Dixieland? And he goes, I don't know why I said that. Like, I thought it was sounded cool or oh, something. Man, that's... And he goes, actually, no. Everything just changed. That's lame. We're going with AJ and we're going to WWE. So They hadn't even told Gator. They haven't told Gator yet. And I'm waiting because I'm like, I can't wait to see oh, this. Oh, yeah. So Carl, who, who's actually his real name is Chad, yeah. he calls over Gato and he's like, Gato, Gato, <laughs> Gato, son, we need yeah, to talk. Yeah. So he grabs a Tori and then you can just tell Chad's like almost going to cry already. He's like, he's like, I know I've been here for eight yeah, years yeah. and I, I got to go to WWE, man. I'm, I'm leaving. 
Oh, and, uh, and he's coming with me. Yeah. <laughs> it was Gallows. And he's like, yeah. yeah. And, and they're going over this 20-minute speech about how sorry they are that they're doing this. They feel like they're blindsiding him. They're, but they're like... Yeah. And then they're walking away, and they're, they shake hands and hug. And then Chad <laughs> goes, oh, my God. Because AJ just yeah. walked into the room. And he goes, AJ's leaving, too. <laughs> <laughs> Gato goes, what? Because, yeah. like, hey, that was their guy, you yeah. know? Like, he was the, he's he's the two-time champ. champ. Right? So it's just chaos. Yeah. So I see Gato and I see Tiger losing their mind. No, it was and Bullet Club, not chaos. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. We're looking no. at each other yeah. like, oh my good. God. Gato shakes their hands, goes, Guinea son, come here. Do, do you remember yeah, the conversation? I remember. Okay. He goes, mm, you remember the match with Kachina? Like, yeah. Maybe no strong over, just quick. You, you go. Oh, and, and I think Gato, he said, Maybe we maybe we do something yeah. day after. I'm like, <laughs> okay, damn right we're doing something. Yeah. Damn, you damn right we're doing something. Scary, you yeah. mother. Yeah. I've been waiting for so you, you motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Didn't he tell you to gain more weight too? After, yeah. yeah. Okay, so after. you come up to us, you already knew because you go up to us, you go bucks. I'm like what? There's just chaos. Everybody's going nuts. You go, yeah. Come here. I'm like what? And you go, you go. I'm moving on up. And we knew it was serious. Yeah. Like, oh, they're putting him up to the heavyweight division, and yeah. you're going to be the new guy. Yeah. So, <laughs> Tokyo Dome happens, and it's really, it's, everyone's running around like, like they're a chicken with their head cut off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, usually, that, that's right. That night was... Usually, everything was so micromanaged at, at Tokyo Dome. Dome, right? Like, it was like, what's your segment? No Go one everything. cared. Yeah. That night, nobody cared, because there's panic in the air. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You could feel it. Or you could feel I, it. I sort of felt it the last Tokyo Dome, too. But sure, the last one was yeah, freaking yeah. effed up, but... So immediately was the crazy. thought was you were gonna go with with Knack before he left, right? Yeah. And uh, they were gonna position oh, you guys, right, yeah. and you were gonna take out AJ officially. We were gonna turn on him. We kind of wrote What's that the whole detail story. What's the on that though? Why didn't that happen? I don't what know. <laughs> you tell me. I don't know. And you were supposed to beat uh, Shinsuke for the IC title, right? I mean, yeah, but I mean, that was weird. Why that got changed? I mean, yeah, that was, a, that was one of the demands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on their side. Uh, I see. Yeah. So. The AJ thing, we... I don't know, though. I mean, like, I was always really cool with Shinsuke. He's great. And, yeah. you know, I, I don't know if no one knows really the locker room, the way that they're divided up, but, yeah. you know, friends change with friends, just how it goes. And Shinsuke was always in our room together. Like, he was just one of our guys. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I don't ever want to think it was like, well, I just don't want to lose to you before I go to WWE. I don't think it was that. Nah, I think yeah. it was just a demand, like, you got to come, like, now and... Sorry if you have a belt. That's just how it is. Right. You know? and drop it. Yeah. Yeah. So you write pretty much the AJ turn. AJ goes up in the corner. You you put him up there. You give him one wing, and the whole place goes crazy. Yeah. And I think they knew right away. Oh, he's the next guy. We come out. We're like, what have you done, Kenny? What have you done? And we're shoving you. Yeah. The other guys pick up AJ, and then you're like, and do it. And Nick and I turn. And we double super kick him. Yeah. And because it was a, it was only officially you only officially got kicked out of Bullet Club if you took a super kick from Nick and I for whatever reason. Uh, so yeah. we planned that. We so we planned, planned that. that. That was all by the script. Yeah. We all start to <laughs> that exit. That we wrote. Yeah, that we yeah. wrote. We all start to exit. And at the Corican, what you do is you go you go downstairs into the locker room. Yeah. The other Bullet Club members who are involved in the segment they go down, mm -hmm. and you stop me and Nick, and yeah. you go wait wait. And you let everyone get ahead of us, and you go. I remember, and you, it's like the camera's right there. I remember like mouthing like. <laughs> <laughs> you think, you think you're going to well, you, you, you know, it was a game yeah. of telephone. You asked Nick. You said, "Ask Matt." You said, "Ask Matt if we should go back in the ring." Yeah. And Nick goes, "Hey, do you think?" I say, "Yes." And I already, <laughs> I heard you. Yeah, yeah. We slide in, and then you're like, "Should I give him a Styles Clash?" We're all. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so you pick him up yeah. and you're all. I think you might have told him when you're down. You're like, hey man, is it cool if I give you a Styles class? I think I said. I think you just said Stizzclizz. Yeah, Stizzclizz, 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 buddy. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I think he was surprised though. Yeah. What he's like, what? And he, I remember as I was going, he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but he knew, like, because he fed yeah. his arms and stuff. When so he, you put yeah. him down. We double yeah. super kick him. You give him the deal. We just did the thing without even getting permission. But we knew we had to do something to differentiate ourselves from the old Bullet Club. Oh we God, are the yeah. new leaders of the club, basically. It was gonna because be even elite. they were lost. The conversation we knew we were was, staying around, so this we was a matter to... of survival. Yeah, we, right. we can't look like the Bush League version of Bullet Club. We yeah. have to make this new, and we have to make it work. So we get downstairs. At the time, the lingo was the elite. Like, it was always, we made our favorite list of elite wrestlers. AJ, Chris Jericho, us. Like, we'd always put our favorite yeah. edge or whatever. 
Cactus Jack. Like Kurt Emmer's Kurt Angle. Kurt yeah. Angle. Kurt yeah. Angle. Yeah. Mister Perfect. Like we don't yeah. uh, Hulk Hogan. Like we always Vincent had our man might have even been in mind. <laughs> he probably yeah, he was, was as yeah. a wrestler though, not as yeah. So I get to the back and I and I put up the picture yeah. of us posing and I put the elite of Bullet Club yeah. and I tweet it out. And right then and there, I didn't realize we had just created the elite. Like, well, we had, it I just remember, happened. I remember, too, like, like that, another, yeah. this is, I don't know how this is going to make us look in camera, but, mm. you know, they always do this wonky training in the ring before yeah. the show sometimes, and sometimes it's just so goofy, and guys are getting hurt and everything. Right. We'd walk by the ring and be like, hey, like, look at these guys in the ring right now, and they'd just be like, don't worry about it, they're not elite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stuff yeah like you're that, right, you know you're right. Yeah. Like, they can do what they want, they're not elite. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect from guys like that? They don't know any better. They better yeah. keep practicing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elite. Being the elite came after the elite, and that was Nick's idea. And we, and Kenny and I, yeah. thought it was a terrible idea. I didn't really give it too much thought, to be honest. Yeah, I was just like, I, I mean, I like, just... if you, I was like, if you put a camera in front of my face, I guess, but yeah. like, it didn't get me excited. Like, let's make a vibe because yeah. those are super fun. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I still I started yeah. filming things. We had no idea that this was actually going to pay off one day, and that we were going to write for a company and book and stuff like that. But I thought like something's going to pick this up yeah. eventually. Yeah. Or we were just gonna get straight up ripped off, you know, oh, yeah. whatever. And people tried. Oh, for oh, sure. Oh boy, they're still trying. Yeah, it's crazy. Sure. The charm about the show is that it's clearly it's DIY. It's clearly guys who don't know what the hell they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a funny, quirky sense of humor. And but, you still know yeah. that Nick's still editing. And most you know, of Nick it. edits it on his yeah. Mac. Little did we know though that the show was really the ticket to like to everything. To everything. We became more than just wrestlers. We were like these people that people knew personally and it did help that you were having these these matches yes you want to rewind the clock because this is another funny thing is literally it ties into social media it ties into pro wrestling tees when i went to you matt and i said yeah. hey matt do you mind if you sit down for a second i want to tell you my match with okada yeah you're like okay and i'm like i just don't know how i feel about it though I'll, I'll just tell it to you okay so i tell it to you what do you think matt he goes hmm well I think it's pretty much match of the year. <laughs> I said, what? Are you kidding me, Kenny? He's like, what, you, you honestly don't know? I'm like, I don't know, Matt. Yeah. He's like, just get out of here. I'm just like, just get out of here, man. Yeah. <laughs> you were doubting yourself. I was, I really this was. This is the first one. So this yeah, is the, the first one. Totally one. Yeah. Cause it's, and then it became a tradition, especially for Okada matches. No, it yeah. was usually at McDonald's for free breakfast. <laughs> that, yeah. For, for three yeah. of us. That's true. Yeah. And, and we, would, or, would or, yeah. we would help you call the rest of the match. Or it was at a... Uh, Sizzler, Sizzler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or Sizzler, yeah. yeah. So if we have any, a lot of those if matches. we're given any credit for having, for you having the greatest match ever, it's that we gave, we might have helped you with a couple high spots, no, and sure. what is critically acclaimed the greatest matches of all time. So we will take it if yeah. if we have any help or input in that at all. No, please. Absolutely. All those matches had that same feel until you versus Tanahashi this year. Mm -hmm. You know why? Yeah. Why? It's so weird. Matt and I are watching it. We're like, this is a great match, but I don't yeah. feel anything. We knew no. that. I was aware, I'm so over it. The reason why he felt that I don't way, know. I, don't I felt betrayed. I felt was, betrayed. Yeah, that's what it is. I found that's out we were getting kicked off New that's Year's right. Dash. Oh, that's right. right. It felt like we were, I don't yeah. know, betrayed a little. Yeah. Yeah, there's a huge long story with the build up to my match with Tanahashi, how they completely changed the narrative. Like, at first, it was supposed to be a 50 50 story between myself and Tanahashi. People were supposed to be torn. Yeah. You know, is it. This new age of thinking, or supposed to be like the golden age of That's thinking, right. the savior of, of yep. strong style. And once they knew that I was going, they did whatever they could. They did a complete media blitz to make it look like I was this terrible person. Mm -hmm. Once I started to pick up on that, it actually inspired me to make the video that That's I that right. I made. Video game. Yeah. 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 Some of my good friends in real life, Toby Fox, the guy that made Undertale. He helped me write the script for this game idea. I funded the whole thing because I knew I right. wasn't getting cleared. I was like, okay, we're clear. Here it is. It's all done. They even edited it for you. It's all done. And they're like, no, we're not showing that. That's right. And I was like, you're not showing you it. You found this out a couple days before, yeah. too. That's I'm like, right. well, it's like, well, what do you want me to do then? And they're like, well, you know, the president doesn't like it. Gato doesn't like it. Yeah. Okay. So you gave it to I us. Said, so I said, okay. Yeah, I said, well, thank, thankfully, I own it. That's right. So wow, here you go, I Nick. About so that. you put up on BTE. Yep. You know, that's right. That's right. it got a ton of media, and oh, press. Yeah. It went just viral got right, right went away. viral right away. And then New Japan hits me. I'm like, so uh, if we like edited the parts we didn't like, could we like use that video? Because I'm noticing like it's getting a lot of traction. Jeez. Could you actually give it to like New Japan World? It's like, oh, I'm sorry. I already gave it to Nick. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. It's already on BTE right now. Yeah, it's I already forgot about that. 
I, uh, that was a rough month because before yes. before that we had just gotten pretty much kicked out of Ring of Honor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it we had a we, bad of course we were too. leaving, but it felt like we were physically kicked out. It was so everything was hidden. Bad us. breakups. So yeah. I remember being really depressed, yeah. and you were oh, too. Very, we were all depressed, and we confided in each other, month. and it so it all bad. culminated yeah. in yep. Tokyo Dome at the end. Yep. And I pulled out my phone and I start recording. That's right. It's uh, I always kind of feel a little empty after every main event, win or lose. Today is a little, it's a little different for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. I feel you. Man. <laughs> I can't comment aside from that, but uh, I don't know. It just yeah. Uh, you, you, or you broke up with your girlfriend, but you had a side girl anyway, so you know you're coming home to her, so it's like it's not so bad. Yeah, it's like you, you're, you, you get a side <laughs> girl, and you don't, you're not sure if you love her, but you're like, maybe I can learn to love her. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> learn to love yeah. her. It was eerie. It was, it was bizarre. Like, we were depressed. It was sad. And, but we were moving on to this new big thing, but it still, it felt like we didn't get the closure that we deserved. Yeah. It's like, we were just sitting there, like, we didn't want to leave. Cause like, once we leave, we walk out those doors. This is that's it. This is our New Japan career. Maybe that's the last time we'll ever do it. I think the part that was strange for me was that I'd always made my intent clear that being a part of Japan or having roots in Japan was important to me. And that I was there to help them and anybody at any point in time for the long run, and I even had it written in my contract. Yeah. With AEW yeah. to do so. Right. We, we did too. That's yeah. what, like, yeah. Even after all this had happened, we had meetings yeah. with ROH and New Japan to say, hey, we're open to work with you guys. Yeah. Let's do this. And nothing happened. Yeah. Even after all that. Yeah. So, I mean, I think, like, when I think about the business of it, I, I don't. I don't have any gripes with it. It just, okay, it was a bad business decision. You know, like, you made a bad call. Mm -hmm. I do take it personally, though, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, no I kidding. take it personally yeah. because, like, a lot of the fans were just crushed that suddenly oh, we're not... broken. Yeah, they weren't. Well, like, and I, one and of your favorite characters and I think, kill off yeah, the show. Yeah. And, and I think it was very, something. yeah, I think it was very irresponsible <laughs> to do that. Yeah. And they tried to cover for it by making a new version of me. When they just should have let everyone be themselves, and I think now they're sort of getting into that groove. Did Kenny Omega leave his wrestling heart in Tokyo? That's a tremendous question. Kenny Omega, he's the wrestler of the year. That doesn't go away that easily. I'm really having a chance now to try new things, and one of the things that I wanted to really show is my vision for what women wrestling can or should be, you know, to, to everyone in America that hasn't seen, you know, these types of matches on American television. So it's really cool that uh, you know, slowly but surely we're sort of getting into a groove of displaying the kind of talent that hasn't been available to everyone. Like in my downtime and in between time, I'm trying to do this mixed match thing with Riho as a, as a partner. We did it before, like in 2008, 2010-ish. We did a couple in like 2014. Just a shame we can't really do it in America yet. We're hoping eventually, you know, in an AEW ring, like wait on the line or whatever. We no, can no, maybe... no, no, wait on the line. Well, I'm just, no, we, we, I mean, we have the power, right? I mean, technically, yeah, but I mean... Well, why don't we just... Everyone's got their stories and stuff. Why don't we just book it on the... 